You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, so I have a sort of scary story to share with you. It's October, it's, you know, the month of Halloween. So last weekend I went into the camera store and I had my mind made up to buy an accessory that I thought would help me in my photography. And I walked into the camera store, and first of all, I had to wait around for about 10 minutes. I mean, there was a lot of people helping, uh, but there was a lot of people in there, and so it just took a while to get to get help. So while I was waiting, I was looking around, amusing myself with the tripods and the action cameras and everything uh, that's in the camera store, but I really had my heart set on purchasing one item that I had saved up for, and that was a light meter. And so. My interest in a light meter came from listening to Matthew Jordan Smith's podcast and his emphasis on lighting is something that I really believe in. I've been motivated by trying to learn um, artificial light and strobe light and off-camera light. And uh, he really spoke highly about using a light meter to help you create those settings instantly, professionally, on the fly, without a lot of guesswork. It's something that I'm interested in and I wanted to strive for. I finally got the help with the young woman at the counter. I asked, uh, do you have the 308 light meter from Psychonic? And she went over the, the glass case, she unlocked it, looked around, and she pulled out the light meter. And she says, what do you want to use it for? And I said, well, for photography, for the light meter. She's like, is this for a class? And right there, in her tone, I sensed some sort of judgment about, I don't know what I'm doing, um, only students buy this, only people who are required to purchase for a class buy this. And so I kind of took that and I didn't react to it, but inside it kind of it kind of bothered me. And so we were talking about the light meter, she was trying to ascertain what I would use it for. And she finally said, you know, your camera has a histogram and that's what you should be using. That takes the place of the light meter. So, here I am in the middle of the camera store. I've waited in line to get my hands on this. I've researched it. I've listened to experts. I've saved up my money. I have all the personal reasons to purchase this right there. And she sort of dogs me with like, oh, is this for a class? And then she says, you don't need this. And then in the moment, I said, oh, here, take that item back. And I purchased a tripod base plate that I uh, had lost and I walked away from the transaction without the light meter that I had gone in there to get. And this sort of scares me because I had um, knowledge on my side, I had experience on my side, I had research on my side, I had personal desire and personal funds to spend at this camera store on my side. And because of a couple of comments that kind of cast dispersion on my aspirations, I let her sway me. Now, granted, there was another twist that was, it was about $60 more than I thought. I thought it was gonna be 150, 160, and it was like 220. And so um, I also let that factor sway me. And so what do I walk away with? I mean, my wife was there, I was embarrassed. I told her when we got back in the car, hey, I don't know if you know, I didn't really change my mind because I didn't want the light meter. Um, Heck, I could have used it and returned it and just said, hey, this didn't work out, I don't like this product. But I let someone else's opinion about photography and cameras and camera equipment influence me. And that's not, that's okay in terms of uh, learning. You want other people to influence you, but at the critical moment where there was really no moral reason to not buy the light meter, there was no ethical judgment, it was just a purchase that I wanted to make, I let her opinion of me and what I should buy influence me. And so I feel bad for that. And uh, I, I think it was a mistake on my part. Um, Grant, I did want to go research the price and see if I could get it better. Um, you know, and so this bums me out because I want to support my local camera store. That's one thing that I really uh, think is important, but I just was turned off by the treatment I got and embarrassed at myself. And so this Halloween season, <laughs> when you go into your camera store, stick up for yourself. Don't let people tell you you don't need something or you don't want to try something. If you want to do it, try it. 
so what? Make the mistake yourself. Live and learn and just move on. And don't let people bully you or um, uh, force you into doing something that, that you don't want to do. All right, that's it for me. It's a short video today. I just want to get that out there, get that off my chest and share that with you. Thank you so much for being here. And I appreciate you on the channel. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click the like button, leave a comment. Tell me a horror story. Tell me a horror story about your experience in camera stores. Uh, I would love to hear that and feel like I'm not the only one. All right, peace. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that to you, that could be a person. All right, so I have a sort of scary story to share. I'm pretty sure there was serious months ago. So they are last week and I went into the camera store and I had my mind made. I was all set up in this room. I was very 